Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. So you're thinking about starting to free range your chickens, but maybe you live in an urban area, or maybe a semi-urban area where you got properties around you that you don't want the chickens wandering onto. After all, most of your neighbors, even if they're friendly neighbors, aren't okay with chickens coming over, eating their flowers, getting in their garden, pooping on their porch. You're probably gonna get a phone call or a visit from them if this happens. So if you wanna let your chickens out, but maybe you're afraid to, and you're wondering how far are they gonna go, this video is for you. In this video, we're gonna talk about how far chickens will travel when they free range, and also is there any ways to kind of stop them from traveling or things you can do to prevent them from going so far. Let's get into it. You know, it's a lot of fun watching chickens free range through your yard. You can tell they're a lot happier just being out of their enclosed run, and it's just relaxing to watch them roam through your yard and scratch and peck around. But there's always that question in the back of your mind. Where are these chickens going to go if they stay out all day long? Chickens are usually going to stay pretty close to the coop. 90% of the time, they'll be probably less than 100 yards from the coop. Now we have a three acre lot here on the pretend farm and 90% of the time when our chickens are free ranging, they're gonna be somewhere really close to the coop. The reason for this is because the coop is where their food and water is. They know they've always got an easy meal there. It's where the hens lay their eggs throughout the day. And in the summertime especially, it's hot out and that's the place they go to get a drink. So the chickens don't wander far from there. Chickens know that that coop is kind of like their sanctuary, their cloak of protection. They don't like to veer too far from it. You know, I'll never forget the time that I started free ranging my chickens and everything was going great for days and days. And then all of a sudden I came home one day and they were out in the road. Almost got hit by the FedEx truck. That's when the pretend farmer realized that every now and then these chickens get a little adventurous and they want to take a field trip. The only way to really keep chickens from going somewhere is to have a good fence. If you look at the fence behind these chickens here, it sets fairly close to the ground and it's in good condition. They usually never go through that fence into the yard behind the pretend farm. Now if your fence looks more like this one and there's a big gap that they can squeeze under, the chickens are going to roam. Fortunately, the neighbors at this property don't mind if they go over in their field. Now if you have a fence that looks like this and they can get through it in any spots, you can always take chicken wire or some kind of smaller screening and run along the bottom, and that should stop them from migrating. A chicken that's really motivated can clear a standard size fence, which is why for the run, we use a six foot tall fence and then put wire over top of it so that they can't fly out. Here on the pretend farm, we found that even though chickens are capable, they've never attempted to fly over a fence like this. Now, if you're worried that your chickens are gonna go too far, or maybe you've already tried free ranging and you know your chickens are going too far, but you really don't have any good way to secure a good perimeter to keep that from happening, you might wanna try supervised free ranging. Supervised free ranging is simply a, just a way of limiting their time that they have to free range to when you get home in the evenings or on weekends, time that you're at home. So in other words, if you get home at five or 5.30 in the evening, a lot of times in the summer, it still doesn't get dark until about nine o'clock. That's several hours that your chickens have every evening to get out of their run, stretch, and get some good exercise in the yard. And it doesn't give them as much time to wander and get in trouble. It also keeps them safer from predators. If you have problems with hawks, foxes, anything like that during the day, if you're out and about the yard with your chickens, those things are less likely to come in and attack while you're at home. Until next time, this is the Pretend Farmer encouraging you to free range them chickens when you can. They'll love it, and it's good for your yard. Happy farming out there. Well, hey, fatty.